this is my supply. Uh, okay, it's upside down. 36 volt at 5 amp, making 180 watts. This is my driving controller. The speed controller is uh, the BLDC driver. This is my BLDC motor. The scooter wheel. The scooter hub motor. Driving my 5 kV permanent magnet alternator. You see the connection. So, the three piece uh, alternator is on. These are resisting wheels. 120 watts. It's running. So, that's all. I'll try to connect uh, some other type of load and let's see. So this time around, I'm applying a uh, bigger load from 120 watts. Now I have 200 watts. That's 200 watts. I'm using one of the pace. Remember, it's three pace alternator. So I'm using one of the pace. From 180 watts. So, I will further increase the load. So, now I'm connecting a 2 horsepower motor. It's a 3 phase motor. It's a 3 phase induction motor. If you can see the 1.5 kilowatt. It's a high speed motor, 3.4 amp, 283 volts. So, I'm making use of all the 3 phase that comes out. It's been connected. Let's see. It's on. The switch is on. Let's see. On. We're on it. So, to kick off. Let's kick off. Yeah. Running it. Let's measure the RPM. I think it is running it. Three thousand. This is a high speed uh, induction motor, three phase. It runs at uh, two thousand eight hundred uh, RPM normally. Now I'm running it uh, with uh, my generator. At 3000, that's 3000, 3000 RPM. The smooth, the smooth. Meanwhile, the speed down here of this BLDC uh, motor is um, 632, 632. Although the ratio is much here. Yeah. Remember, the induction motor is a non-resistive uh, loop. Let's see what we can do with this setup. Let's see what we can do with it. 